This pencast is about a technique for multiplying polynomials where you think about area of a rectangle. You guys already know that the length times width of a rectangle is equal to its area. So if I have a length and a width, my result would be the area. So what we're going to be doing is turning the length and the width into whatever polynomials we're multiplying. Here's what I mean. In my first problem one, I'm given a binomial times a trinomial. So I'm going to draw boxes um, draw a big rectangle that has two boxes by three boxes. It doesn't matter um, if I go two by three vertically or horizontally. So I'm going to be doing 2x for my top row, negative 3 for my bottom row, and then for the first column, second column, third column. And then I'm going to multiply and fill in each one of these little boxes. So like for example, 4x squared times 2x, that's 8x to the third. And then if I do 4x squared times negative 3, I'd have negative 12x squared. Now let's do the next column. x times 2x is 2x squared. And then again, x times negative 3 would be negative 3x. Last column, plus 15. OK, what I've done is I filled in the six little sections of this area. And now I'm going to go and combine like terms. Now oftentimes, the like terms show up diagonally. That's not always the case. Um, on this particular problem, this is nice because my, uh, my like terms are organized diagonally, and that makes it easy for me to visual, visually see which ones go together. OK, let's try that one more time. We're going to do another binomial times a trinomial, although in this one, I'm pretty sure they're not going to line up um, diagonally. And I'm also going to draw this one the other direction, the other orientation, just so you guys can see that either way is fine. So my 2 my binomial is m squared minus 2. My trinomial goes on the side that has three boxes. And then I'm going to fill in the middle and then combine like terms. All together, m squared times n to the third is m to the fifth. Negative 2 m to the third. 7 m to the third. Oop, they do organize on the diagonal. Heh, what do you know? Oh, well, maybe not all the way. Negative 5 m squared and positive 10. OK, so when I go to combine my like terms, what I was saying earlier is that these diagonals sometimes line up. On this problem, they don't totally line up on the second diagonal. But the key is just combining like terms. I have only one m to the fifth. I have no m to the fourth terms. I have five of the m to the thirds. I have negative, oops, yeah, negative 5m squared minus 14m plus 10. The key there was making sure that all of my exponents, all of my like terms, got combined appropriately. So I particularly, I, I personally like this area model when you have a binomial and a trinomial um, because I think it's, it's a nice way to organize your work. And you don't have to. This is an alternative to the distributing, which we'll have in another pen cast. But it's a way to visually organize your work that oftentimes helps students who are either visual learners or kinesthetic learners, or if you, if you have kind of like a geometry brain, like if areas make more sense. And this area model might be good for you for multiplying um, polynomials.